What if the father of a child isn't the only man who shapes them? Not in name, not even in blood, but in something deeper. There's a strange theory, one that lingers on the edges of science and speculation. It's called telegony. The idea that the genetic material from a woman's previous partners could remain in her body long after those relationships have ended. Not for days, not even months, but for up to seven years. Science tells us conception is simple. An egg, a sperm, a child. But telegony suggests something more complex, that the sperm from past lovers may leave microscopic fragments behind. Tiny pieces of DNA, dormant, quiet, yet still present. And somehow those fragments might influence the child she has later, even if the biological father is someone else entirely. It's a wild idea, right? But think about it. The human body absorbs, adapts, remembers, scars, emotions, memories. Why not genetic echoes? Some say this could explain why certain children don't quite resemble their fathers, not just in looks, but in voice, movement, even personality. The shadows of former partners written silently into the next generation. Of course, modern science rejects this. No peer-reviewed study confirms it. Genetics, as we know it, follows strict rules. But what if there's something it hasn't discovered yet? A hidden mechanism, a deeper memory, something ancient, something biological, something we can't yet see. Maybe telegony is nonsense, or maybe it's a truth we're not ready to accept. <sighs> but one thing is certain, our bodies are archives. They hold more than DNA. They carry traces of the past, of every touch, every connection, every story. So next time you see a child and wonder who they take after, remember this strange idea. Sometimes the past doesn't just fade. Sometimes it stays inside us, waiting. Please subscribe and follow for more.